Good morning! Happy Sunday! Today I'm doing a Sunday vlog. Um, <laughs> I am too excited today. I woke up in such a great mood compared to yesterday's video. I was just crying and it's because I'm on my period and I'm just like... I was feeling so emotional yesterday. I hope you guys clicked on the video for one thing and one thing only. Let me get them out. They are menstrual... Menstrual cups. What are menstrual discs? That's what these babies are called. And excuse the hair, you know, I've tried looking cute for you guys. But it's hard to do that when I don't get ready in the morning. You either get crazy or normal. There's... There's no in between. At least I don't think there is. If there is, drop down in the comments what's my normal because I either always got like some crazy hairstyle going on or my hair looks really pretty. Usually my makeup is never done, but that's something I probably need to change this year. Anyways, because I'm on my period, I have been seeing, I swear it's it's true. Google knows and hears everything. So yes. Because I'm on my period, I've been seeing these flex menstrual disc ads every time I watch YouTube. I'm like, hmm, YouTube knows I'm a girl. I was looking at these and I'm just like, okay, the flex disc. One flex disc is three super tampons. For me, I am a tampons kind of gal. I am a pads kind of gal. I like them both. But the thing is for me, I need them both. And majority of the time, I am always, always staining tired of staining so anyways I'm at Target I see this and I'm like oh I'm gonna buy it but then I see this and this is a soft disc menstrual disc this one was way cheaper this one was like $11.99 and you get 14 of them this one was $14.99 and you get 12 of them then I decided to look up a video about the flex menstrual disc the girl in the video killed me. I cannot. I cannot. So she is a lot of the inspiration for today's vlog and myself I am also inspiration because I had a lot of questions that she didn't answer so I'm gonna try to answer those questions. One question is which one is better? I go like I tried looking at a, another YouTube video that tried telling me which one was better. She didn't answer it either. I don't know what she was saying by the end of the video where I was just like, you gotta do it, Melanie. You gotta answer it for those who have questions that you do. I'm gonna be putting that out all up in my woman business. Now one shows that it's pink, the rim color. Ignore, ignore my nails, side note. So this one is black. But I like how this, the flex says natural carbon black. Whereas this one says pigments and I'm like, can that mean anything? So let's, let's go ahead and start by opening these packages. I'm not going to try them on now just because I just put a fresh pad on and I don't feel like wasting it. So I'm going to work out at the gym with the pad, shower, get ready, and then we're going to stick them in together. Yes, I said that we're sticking them in together. So this is going to probably be like a two day vlog, one at home one at work that should be exciting <laughs> so let's open the flex Ooh, all right oh, oh side note this video is not sponsored not sponsored whatsoever by flex oh my god these things are huge can you see <laughs> oh, you can't see how big they are but like the sunlight is coming in right here and i see these things are so huge they're as big as the palm of my hand Oh my god, it says put me in, coach. <laughs> and the instructions are right here, which we will read. Alright, let's open this soft disc, menstrual disc. Ooh, way easier opening. No funnies. Purple packaging, I like it. This one seems smaller. Or am I just used to it? Ooh, so far. Bendable, yes. Let's see, which one is bigger? Okay, so far I think the flex is bigger. And you know what? After the gym and after I get ready, I'm gonna go for flex. I'm gonna put the flex one on first. One, because it's 
more known, more popular, and the box just made me really like it. So <laughs> we're going with Flex first. Ignore my boyfriend. We're both filming at the moment. So this is a tester. <laughs> the toilet seat is down. My pants are on. All right, my boyfriend is still filming. I'm gonna be filming. This is how, you know, YouTubers live in one household together. Now the flex says I could take it out in 12 hours. Comfortable technology, seals and leaks and smells. Can be worn during sex. One fits most. So I did ask Lewis if we could have sex with this on and he just said that sounds weird. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use the restroom and wash my hands. I don't know about you guys, but when I use the restroom, my shirt is usually folded up. I just noticed that. Pants are down. I don't know how it's gonna be today. She kinda heavy, she kinda not, but I already stayed in my underwear and I'm like, ugh. Then again, I didn't put the pad on right. The wings, I forgot to fold them down. Ugh, I don't know what I was thinking. So, flex. Oh, almost dropped it on the floor. Well, <laughs> this is very informative. Okay, 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 steps. Wash your hands, done. 20 seconds, everybody, 20 seconds. Sit on the toilet and relax. I can't relax. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting a freaking pap smear. <laughs> I can't relax. Pinch the disc in half. I love how they give the person a little tattoo. Like, look at that. Let's see, I, I need to read the steps before I do anything. It may feel strange, but it shouldn't hurt. <laughs> I do this for you guys. <laughs> Let me see. You should feel really comfortable with yourself before attempting to do this. Luckily, I do, so let's go ahead. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. I thank God they have 12. Okay. Here it is. Let me see. Ooh, feels a little like a condom, but drier. And then you pinch. Okay, I need to put my pants way lower. Um, how? <sighs> Let me check my stress level right now. This is not the video you asked for, but this is the video I need. So pinch and insert it like this. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Let me see. That sounds so weird. Okay, I'm using two hats. It doesn't, it's going in, it's going. I don't feel it going in. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't laugh, I'm pushing it up. Okay. You can't have sex with this, let me see. I don't know how far it could go. Okay, let me see. It, it doesn't hurt, I can't feel it going in. And I don't feel it right now. She's showing like this, so we about to go like that. Oh, wait. Okay, it feels pressure. <sighs> Ooh, I kind of feel like throwing up. Oh god, every time I laugh it comes out. Oh shoot. <laughs> I think I lost it. Oh no, wait, there it is. <sighs> I'm tired. <sighs> I don't know if this is right. And like mentally, I know something's in there. And it's like, I just want to throw up. I don't know why. Like literally, my thumb, my whole thumb went in. <sighs> Let me see. Let me just feel if it came down. Okay, it did come down. I don't know. We'll just, we'll keep it like that. It is 2.29 right now. 
this to keep it on for 12 hours. I'm going to dinner at seven. I'm gonna change it while I'm getting ready for dinner. So that's like about four hours. And the good thing about it is, is that with tampons, when you stick it in, it really hurts when you take it out because it's dry and it's like rubbing against, I guess that's called your vagina. With this, because like it's soft, I guess to say, like it, it just like slides in and it could slide out. So it's like that helps. I'm gonna shower and let's just, let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't think I could do this at work. So I just got out of the shower, I have a towel on. Was there leakage in the shower? Yes, at first but then like I kept on checking throughout and then there wasn't. I feel, I still feel nauseous. I don't know why I feel nauseous, but I just, I do. I guess I'm not used to having it in there. Time to get beautified. So my makeup is not done. I'm getting ready, but I'm noticing like I'm feeling, I'm having like leakage. And I put a, a panty liner on because I'm just like, uh, yeah, let me check this out. And yeah, I'm leaking a lot. So I'm gonna take it out. How to remove, okay. To get it, I put my finger in and I like get it from like the tip of the black. So here we go again, try two. And it is, it's about a before 45. So I didn't even keep it in, kept it in for a little over an hour. Okay, here's another one. Let me save this because I'm gonna replace them. I don't know what to do. Let me see, I'm gonna open it, make it a little wider. All right, let's go in. Oh, you see, yeah, it's already coming out. Oh, it feels worse coming out. Oh. Yeah, there is nothing like I expected it to be like this and have the liquid in it. It's all around it. This is dirty work. I think this is grosser. I'm gonna be trying flex all day today. I need to like get my underwear down to my feet. Bend, go in, relax. Okay, this time it's going in way easier and way more relaxed. It's just pushing it in. It's the harder part, like look how much I have to bend forward. Okay. I feel like it's in. I made sure to like push extra hard this time because I kind of knew what to expect. I feel myself leaking. I know I'm leaking. <laughs> I put on a pad. I put on a pad because the pad liners were getting too ruined too fast. And I'm just like, yeah, this is not working. just got back from eating it was freaking good like I said if you guys follow me on my Instagram where I post a lot of my more like what's happening now stuff I posted everything on Instagram going back to the menstrual disc I am NOT putting it in right and I don't like it like <laughs> I've used three today and I had to have a pad on and it just it caught more but I'm hoping with this third one that I put in that it catches like everything. But I put a night pad on because I'm just like, I'm not taking any chances. But I am doing way better at like, it still feels weird taking it out, but I'm getting way better at like putting it in. Let's see how it goes tomorrow. But today, Sunday, I'm gonna end the vlog right here for tonight. But this is like a two day vlog. So we can see. Good night, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. I feel like Joey and Friends, where he's like, Morning is here, sunshine is here. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. Sorry, I have to be quiet during the mornings because my boyfriend is sleeping and I don't want to wake him up. I am doing the softest menstrual cup, gonna wear them all day at work, and then tonight when I get home, we are gonna go over which one is better. So let's go ahead and get started. 
So hands are washed this morning. Let me fix this. Um, so she is not that heavy today. Mm -mm. She's like pretty normal. So these are the soft disc menstrual disc. I already don't like these, they're harder to open. Oh, shit. <laughs> not using this one. Okay, so they're exactly like the other ones, except these are pink. Oh. This is what they look like. Got her name. Nope, she heavy today. And I think the trick is that like, you have to shove it all the way in and kind of like push it up. Gosh, I still get nauseous when I like put these things all the way up there. I'm gonna put on a pad for protection. So I'm on my way to work. Now let's get that B-roll. I'm at work. I went to the bathroom and I'm staining my pad. Like, and then when I go to wipe, I could feel it. So it doesn't stay where it needs to stay. I don't think it's catching anything. I kind of wish I had tampons. All right, all right, all right. Guess who's back? Nobody's living here rent free anymore. And what I mean by that is my period is not here. She's gone. We like, we close, but she only needs to visit once a month. And I'm just like, you're gone, be gone. I will see you in probably less than a month. <laughs> I'm like, you come at the worst freaking times. Sorry, I just got done taking all my thumbnails for this video and I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I wish you guys could have seen all the stuff that I was freaking doing. I was just practicing. I was like, hmm, hmm, um. <laughs> Anyways, I wore those freaking things for four days four days and now I'm here to tell you guys what I liked about them what I didn't like about them would I wear them again and did they do everything the box said just go ahead and get into that so I'm here making this video for you girls because you know the problem you know our dilemma you know how we get once a month this is not a sponsored video I don't know if I mentioned that in the beginning I can't remember because I haven't filmed the ending today's Sunday it's like you know, it's freaking way later. And if this video does really good and you guys ask me for another one like this, I definitely want to try the Diva Cup. All right, first things first. Did it catch all the blood? Right off the bat, no. No, it didn't catch all the blood. It caught, like, I would say it caught 2% of the blood out of 100. I don't know if I didn't stick it in right. I don't know if it just, it doesn't work. All I know is that I had to wear a pad and the pad got more full than the disc. I was like, what the heck? In this picture, it says that three tampons are one. So you see how this is filled with blood? I expected this to be filled with blood. Found something that works. Catch up. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on here. Let's just imagine this is all of our periods. You know, ooh. So basically, this is how it looked. <laughs> I was just like, that's it? That's all? The difference I noticed in the two though was that the black one, I felt a lot of the blood came out more. Whereas when I put in the pink one, I felt like everything was inside more. I felt like my fingers were less dirty. Whereas with the black one, I feel like everything when I grabbed it, it was like, on the outside. For one day, I left one in for 12 hours. I put it in like around six something and I took it out and I took it out six something later on in the day. I feel like I did stick that one in way better and I felt it way less, but it all it was also really towards the end of my period. Where I was just like, mmm, it's the end of my period already. It kind of makes sense why I'm not bleeding that much. And are you really catching the blood? I did like that I was able to leave it in for the 12 hours and not have to worry about it. And because I did feel like I put it in better, I was just like, okay, yeah. I wouldn't mind doing that for 12 hours if it caught the blood. The box says, can be worn during sex. 
I didn't try to have sex with this on. Save yourself embarrassment. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Please, please, please don't do that. <laughs> so I know you're probably wondering, Melanie, how easy was it to insert it? Well, believe it or not, it was actually super easy to insert. The ring on the outside feels like plastic, but it's not plastic. And it's very bendable, like it bends both ways. I think one way is better than the other. You could just tell. If you have ever gotten um, a pap smear, it's a lot less invasive than that, I could say. But it wasn't pressure I felt, it was just a weird sensation that I felt where I was like, mm, I don't want to do this again. It got better every time I inserted it, I guess because I was less nervous and I was just used to it. So it got easier after like the second day. The third day I was like, whoop, not like super pro because obviously it still kept coming out, but it was just easier. Taking it out, you definitely feel the pressure when it comes out. Like it's not as bad as the pap smear pressure, but you just you feel it like I guess when it goes through when it's not sitting it like kind of folds again and like you feel that like you feel the folding go in and then it comes out like that so that's the best way to describe it so easy was it easy to insert yes it was and it was easy to take out personally I think so one thing I didn't like about the insertion though is that maybe it's just me and I know it's not just me, but how many of you guys could actually say you wash your hands before you use the restroom? If you do, snaps, kudos, everything to you. It's hard to remember to wash your hands before you use the restroom. I know it kind of makes sense that we're supposed to because like we're touching everything before we go to the restroom and we wash our hands when we're, when we're out. but. I think you should be washing them before and after. It's just hard. We're not accustomed to it, I guess, as far as me. I don't do that. I don't wash my hands every time I use the restroom beforehand. And I know I'm not the only one. But for this, <laughs> I washed my hands before and after every single time. Why? Because I was sticking my fingers up in there. I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. There is no way I'm getting any type of infection up there. No, no. Tampons are just so much easier. I have that string. I don't have to stick my fingers all up in there. Comfort seal technology, I would say yes. Yes, it was comfortable. Seals and leaks and smells. I don't know about smells, but it did not seal in my leaks. So, no. Can be worn during sex. It is advised, but I wouldn't say to, to do it, so no. One size fits most? I don't know. I, it fit me. I, I'm glad it fit me, but yeah, I mean, that's a half right there. Reduced cramps in over 60% of users. I don't get cramps anymore. I used to when I was in high school, but I don't get cramps anymore, so that's a no for me because it didn't happen to me. Reduced dryness and irritation in up to 80% of users. Actually, irritation, I would say, yeah, it actually did. Dryness, I don't know. Made of hypoallergenic safe material, I would say, yeah, I didn't have an allergic reaction to this, so good, good. This one, it was basically everything like the Flex. So which one is better? Honestly, I would buy this one just because it is cheaper I felt like it did hold more of the blood and I felt like it was easier to insert it. Whereas this one, the only reason why I liked this one a lot more was because the instructions were better. So if it's your first time buying a menstrual disc, I would say to go with Flex. Whereas the soft disc, I totally forgot about the instructions because these were just so good. If you're a pro, buy the soft disc because they're cheaper, it's the same thing, and I feel like they did catch a lot more blood. Finally, the important question. Would I buy these again? <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't say yes for sure. I can't. What I could say is, I have so many left over, I'm gonna use them next month, for sure. I'm gonna use them next month because I feel 
that I will know more what I'm doing and I'll have a better understanding, hopefully. If I didn't have any leftover, no. I wouldn't buy them again. I wouldn't purchase them again. I was like, this is such a hassle. I have to wear a pad still while I'm wearing freaking menstrual discs. At least with tampons, if I put in a super, I just put in a panty liner. Easy. That's it. If you buy them and they work out great, drop it in the comments. Give me some tips. Tell me, Melanie, this is how you actually do it. If you follow me on Instagram, don't send me a video of you inserting it, but just send me a video explaining it how you did it what you learned that would be that would be super helpful because i was like what am i doing what am i doing and then plus the whole time not the whole time but the majority of the time i was like i just want to take these out and put in a freaking tampon like i'm freaking staining what is the point of wearing this getting my hands dirty washing my hands so many times i was just like i just want to put in a tampon i just want to put in a tampon I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made you guys laugh because I freaking had a blast inserting it. I was like, this is freaking insane. And, and I just kept on thinking, your reactions watching them at home. Like me just thinking about your reactions because when I watched a video of a girl inserting it, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe she's putting this on the internet. Like, it's like, oh my gosh. But the reaction I had, I hope you guys had it. I just, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I had so much fun making this video. I do plan, like I said, if this video does really well and if you guys put in the comments like, let's see another one, I would love to do a Diva Cup one. That would be great. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I highly suggest to subscribe to this channel. You won't regret it. All right, bye guys.